Hi, Mr. Rootsart here again, and uh, I'm going to do a double replacement reaction now for this balancing reactions uh, video. And again, just like I did with the single replacement reaction, if you hadn't had a look at that yet, uh, you should stop this video and go and take a look at the single replacement reaction, and then come back and do the double replacement. Um, so here we're going to uh, do a double replacement though. Um, and just like I did in the single replacement, I'm going to start it with the reactants only, and then we're going to work and find out what our products are. In a double replacement reaction, it's very similar to a single replacement reaction in that we have um, ionic compounds that are combining, and we're going to switch uh, the ions. And what I always find easiest is if we just switch the, um, the positive ions. So we have sodium iodide, and aluminum chloride they're combining and uh, they're going to give us two products so what I'm going to do is switch the two positive ions that's why we call it a double replacement so the two positive ions are going to switch places and um, they're always both ionic compounds so we don't have to worry about a molecular here uh, so I'm going to now write uh, sodium and that's going to combine with the uh, chlorine, so sodium chloride, and when I look at my solubility chart, I'm going to know that, of course, this is table salt, so it's going to be aqueous uh, in uh, water. It's going to dissolve in water, and I'm going to add that to uh, my aluminum iodide, and that's Ali3, okay, and that's because I have to balance out my charges there. And that is going to, if I look at my solubility chart, that's going to form a precipitate and it's going to be solid. It's not, it's slightly soluble, so we'll call that a solid. So let's start to balance this now. So we have our little spot for our coefficients. We're going to balance this exactly the same way that we balanced our single replacement and all the other uh, reactions that we've looked at. So I'm going to write down all of the elements that I have on each side of the equation. So I have sodium, I have iodine, I have aluminum, and I have chlorine. Then on the other side, I'm gonna write them in the same order. Sodium, iodine, aluminum, and uh, chlorine. Okay, on this side, I have one sodium, and on this side, I have one sodium. So my sodiums are balanced. On this side, I have one iodine, and I have three over here, so I know I'm going to have to do some work there. Uh, aluminum, I have one on this side, and I have one on this side, so my aluminums are balanced. That's good. And my chlorines, I have three on this side, and I have only one on this side. So there is going to be a little bit of work with this, but again, I'm going to start from left side to right side and work my way through this. So uh, let's start by balancing my sodiums. Well, I know my sodiums are already balanced. Let's look at the iodine. So iodine's here. I have one over on this side. I have three over here. So the easiest thing for me to do is write a three over on this side. That's going to give me three iodines over here. And I'm going to continue to go left to right. Uh, I know that my sodium was is now not balanced but I'll go back and fix that in a minute okay so my aluminum I have one aluminum on this side and I have one over here so I don't have to do anything with the aluminum we'll leave it the way it is chlorine three on this side and I have one over here so let's write a three over here okay so that gives me three on this side and I have three chlorines on this side so that leaves those balanced now let's go back and uh, fix that sodium. Remember we had to look at that. So now over on this side I have, because I wrote a coefficient in front when I balanced the chlorines, I now have three sodiums. Well, look what's happened over here. When I balanced my iodine, I ended up balancing my sodiums as well. So I have three sodiums over there. So let's just check our numbers. Three and three, three and three. I have one and one aluminum, three and three chlorines. So now everything is balanced. And I don't have to worry about anything else. So I have three, one, three, one. My equation's balanced. Uh, and again, um, you may struggle with these. Uh, it's just a matter, it's kind of like a puzzle 
work at these, practice them, do the hard ones, and um, you'll get much, much better at these. Okay, and uh, we will see you in class. Science.